This is a story that came out on April 10th, 2018 on Press TV. Ladies and gentlemen, I deactivated my Facebook account and I would highly recommend that you do the same. I want you to listen to Mark Zuckerberg and he is in Washington DC to explain the misuse of data on Facebook. You should not overlook this. This is your personal data that's being misused and mishandled by Facebook. That should send a red flag up for everybody. I don't care how many people you got out there following you and you use it for this and that. Get your stuff off of Facebook. It's been too many security breaches. It's been too much of them sharing your information with this government in these government agencies, the alphabet agencies. It's too much of that. They divulge your information to the police. Stop using Facebook immediately. Facebook is not protecting your data. Everything you got out there, they are using it against you. I'm going to go ahead and play this video. Facebook founder and chief executive Mark Zuckerberg has apologized over the mishandling of personal data of millions of users. It's clear now that we didn't do enough to prevent these tools from being used for harm as well. And that goes for fake news, for foreign interference in elections and hate speech, as well as developers and data privacy. We didn't take a broad enough view of our responsibility, and that was a big mistake. And it was my mistake, and I'm sorry. I started Facebook, I run it, and I'm responsible for what happens here. Zuckerberg said Facebook was uh, fighting, quote, an arms race against Russian-sponsored groups trying to use the social network to manipulate elections and public opinion. He made the remarks during his long-awaited testimony before the U.S. Senate. The congressional hearing looks into the leaking of users' private data to the British firm Cambridge Analytica in 2016. The U.K. firm allegedly used the data to help Donald Trump win the presidential election. The rare joint committee hearing will be followed by a similar hearing in the House of Representatives on Wednesday. Early, we talked to investigative journalist Tony Gosling about the Facebook founder's testimony in front of the Senate over the misuse of users' data. He says a congressional inquiry is just the scratch on the surface. Well, wasn't it fascinating to hear Mark Zuckerberg saying that uh, there was an arms race on, that the Russians were trying to use social media to gather information? Well, I have news for him because Facebook's actually a US product, not a Russian product, and the arms race is very much both sides. Uh, what you'll see is that many companies have got access to the back end of Facebook are not Russian companies, they're US companies. We've heard about uh, Cambridge Analytica, a British company. We've also heard a bit about Strategic Communication Labs. Uh, now, both of those are very close, actually, to political influence in the West and also to the military in the West. So that's why I find it a bit cheeky of him to say that this is a, the Russians are the, are the only ones involved in this arms race and that he is rushing to keep up. He's been in bed with the US military through the National Security Agency's arrangements with Facebook for a very long time. This interview by the senators was only just scratching the surface uh, of the companies which are behind Facebook. And I would like to have seen a lot more interrogation of people like Palantir and SCL asking Zuckerberg what his relationship is with the National Security Agency, for example. The government has to regulate this. Uh, we, you know, that's what governments are for, to regulate these big corporations. But the fact of the matter is the corporations have stolen a march on all of our governments in the West. All right. So you heard that. And I'm sorry, there is no amount of, po of apology that this guy can give that is going to excuse 
the misuse of people's personal data out on Facebook. I don't accept his apology. And I don't think anybody should. But I'm just talking to my brothers and sisters. If you have an account out there, let it go. It's not the end of the world if you do not have a Facebook account. Facebook has not been really good with Black people anyway. They don't appreciate us being out there just like all the other social media um, platforms out here, including YouTube. They don't like the Black presence there anyway. So why stay? Why let him continue to have all these security breaches where your information is in the hands of God knows who? You don't even know who all of these security breaches went to. It could have went to Homeland Security. You know how they're trying to label our people BIE and all that shit. No, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. You know, and if you really want your followers, have your followers follow you on a different platform, but not Facebook. You know, it's too many of these breaches and all these people want to do is shrug their shoulders all the time and say, I'm sorry. Well, that ain't good enough. It's not good enough. And he damn near sound like Trump always sitting there bringing up Russia. You would think we were in Russia the way these folks talk about it. Please tell me what you think. Leave your comment, subscribe, and I will see you on the next video. But please get off of Facebook. Your information is being used by people that you don't know. Get off of there. Peace, family.